Thank you once again for joining us today at Matuka TV Studio. All right, today we are bringing to you the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ from the God's servant, Apostle Alome Osai, teachings that is going to be a blessing to someone out there that will be paying attention to this particular clip. All right, do want to listen to it from the beginning to the end and then leave us with your own comments. All right, over to you, sir. I remember the first time I prayed for one hour. It was a, a, like a great achievement. Because I prayed for long, and when I checked it, it was 15 minutes. <laughs> Am I a boy? Ah! I'd exhausted the vocabulary of my tongues when I opened my eyes. <laughs> Just 15 minutes. Jesus. Then the time came, one hour became. That's how that's the, the time I use to charge my spirit. Pray for five hours. That's when I'm I, I'm conscious that I'm praying. And when it becomes very serious, I can go for 12 hours. And I can do 12 hours tomorrow. I can do 12 hours next tomorrow. I can do it for seven days. Coming out in the evening. If I say good evening to you, you will fall. <laughs> Men ought always to pray, not to faint. You will never enter into that economy until you acknowledge the fact that you are insufficient. Our escape route for me is sufficiency is prayer. The Bible says it's the spirit that helpeth our infirmities. He helped our insufficiencies. He's a specialized personality that deals with insufficiency. That's his business. That's his specialty. Just in case you notice insufficiency, maybe you begin to pray and you feel weakness, it's because you are praying in the, in the flesh. Because the flesh is not designed to give you the ascendancy that you seek. Why not ask the Holy Spirit to quicken you? Quicken you. Quicken you. Quicken you. Quicken me. Quicken me. That's what I do. I speak in tongues and I wait for him to quicken me. Because it's not my responsibility to quicken myself. The Bible says it is the spirit that quickens. Then he swallows up your insufficiency. Then he gives you access to mounting up from one level of spiritual energy to another level. And you might ask, okay, why is it that I don't hear the voice of God easily? It's because you are not on the energy level where you can hear it. You need to mount up. And if you get to a certain place where breaking news always comes, there is a place like that in the spirit. And, and you need to know that there is a place. There is none of us that is strong in ourselves. No. That's not what we are saying here. What we are saying here, there is no one that is a champion. If there is a champion at all, it's the Holy Ghost. But the Bible reveals that of his fullness have we received grace upon grace. It is his grace in the measures that we have received that is re responsible for our, our various possibilities and our various experiences. You can receive more grace by the Holy Ghost. So a time came when prayer became a bit more easier than it was before. Then my spiritual senses began to were activated. Without my notice, it began to work. I begin to, the, some days when I wake up in the morning, the, I just feel scrambled inside. It means there's danger. There's danger coming. There's danger. So I know what to do. I begin to pray in tongues. I begin to pray in tongues. And then sometimes when I pray for two hours, the danger is canceled out. That means it will not happen. Sometimes when I pray about danger, it will reduce. That means it will happen, but it will not have the effect that Satan intended. The day my car crashed, I had that danger. But I had to go to Abuja because I need to travel to London. And I've seen myself in London. And the airport in my city is not functional, so I will need to go by road. So what the devil intended, it happened, but not in the measure that he, because prayer went down for seven hours while praying. The thing reduced, but it was still there. So I knew something would show up. Well, we'll be saved. Oh, your senses will just activate. Then you'll become, you start becoming wise by the Holy Ghost. Are you with me? I'm here to tell you that there's a messenger from heaven. 
he is sent to change your world, to change your life, to change your perspective, to change your outlook. Everything about your life changes because he comes to bring you a new sense of consciousness. A new sense of consciousness. We are not saying we are strong in ourselves, no. But he leaks up our liability. He takes up our weaknesses. He gives us the kind of knowledge that you cannot learn. He gives us insight into things that cannot be taught. And the wisdom aspect of the spirit now be, switches on. Hallelujah. 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 Then when he begins to manifest all this in your life, then he begins to use you to help other people. Because from your belly will flow rivers. Something that will go beyond yourself to affect your neighborhood. And it begins to have, it, there's an energy level you come to, you cannot but begin to help people. It's not as if pastors say, help people! No, it, that is what will happen, because that's where you are. People are sick and you just come and you pray, you don't feel anything. It's not as if you felt one anointing. But the moment you prayed and left, the person stood up. just like in a meeting I went to preach and I prayed for blind eyes and there was this significant person that I really wanted the person to see and the person was the only person that did not see maybe God, God knew that I would take the glory so he allowed me to go home first and then when I left and the meeting ended and I went back and opened the eyes and the woman is still can still see till today they brought her blind to my house Prayed for her. And I knew in my spirit that she was healed. But the healing didn't matter. Effect. I almost died. I said, what is this? The next day. I said, ah. You know, he will not do it the way you want it. Mm. Just in case you want to make a name from it, he, will, he, won't, he won't do it. Go home and ashamed then. <laughs> yes. In spiritual warfare, there's no school you need to go to, it's just the Holy Ghost. He said, Now rise up now, rise up now. And begin to pray now. And make sure you don't stop until it's past three or five. Why? He will never answer you. It will take you like two weeks, then you'll find out that there was a situation, and the situation uh, continued until 305. You will now see how accurate the instruction it gave you was. So that which it does inside of you is, is something that captures people's deliverance in. It captures people's encounter, captures people's healing, captures people's deliverance. And the more you are willing to serve him by allowing him to use your life as an instrument to reach other people because the concept is this. Greatness in the kingdom is service. And you are willing to pay the price and do all you need to do so that he can make available the resources that captures other people's healing, deliverance and all of that. That's how he promotes you. He gives you opportunities to serve at higher levels. But it is service nonetheless. Don't get to a point where you say, I'm the guy. It means you have lost the heart of service. And you have truncated yourself. Before this meeting ends, there will be like four people. There are four people that I see. Many issues. I'm just casting news. That's, that's what God said. God said there are like four people here that will go from this meeting with the healing and anointing. You are Yahweh. Hey, hey, hey. You are Yahweh. <laughs> you are Yahweh. Hey, hey, hey. You are
there is something God wants to do in the United Kingdom. This is the season for it. And he's recruiting people massively to accomplish something on the United Kingdom. That may be the reason why you are in this conference. God will not stop. He has, concerning the United Kingdom, it is sealed. He wants to do something here. And nothing will stop him. Nothing. He's going to recruit people massively. Deploy functionaries. Some of you will even relocate to other cities. So that the impact of what God is doing will spread through your life. The rivers will come through your life. And, and that's why this night, oh my God. Thank you so much, and I hope this clip really blesses your life so much. And also, we want to use uh, this opportunity to appeal to our audience out there watching us. Um, we have been receiving your messages about um, the lesson, why we are showing our face on the video. All right, please try to understand us. It's because of YouTube copyright and the reuse content. It has been some challenges we are having over the year. So we decided to avoid it totally so please try to bear with us and may god almighty bless you amen